bottleneck. Neanderthals invaded the Levant around 80,000 years ago, proceeded to drive the human race to the brink of doom. The Neanderthal is now gone, but we have to do it. Great Roman, Norse, and Chinese mythologies are anything to go by. The legends spun by early humans center around a heroic human, almost always a man, who is pitted against an ugly, evil, cruel monster with superhuman strength. This universal mythic monster is The monster is frequently a fiend who kidnaps and ravishes innocent maidens and fair princesses, whom he drags back to his shadowy lair.
anything else yet. RP600M version 2, the one that just came out last week. This one. The answer is, it depends. If you have visualization with the mini PSP or, or something along the lines where you can actually go and manually make equalization adjustments, then no. I think the answer really is just no. Keep your 600M. Use some equalization adjustments because you the horizontal directivity is actually uh. better just a little bit on the 600M. But if you do not have equalization, or maybe you don't really want to use it, you don't want to add the additional cost, then the 600M version 2 is going to be the winner. Nice. And if it were up to me, which one would I choose? I would go with the 600M2 simply because of the horizontal regulation. Precision, and that is the first thing about the 600M2 oh. that surprised me. And by the way, I bought both of these speakers for review. Last week, when the speaker the 600M2 dropped, I had three or four people in the span of two or three hours ask me if I would be willing to review this one because Andrew Robinson and Steve Guttenberg both had reviewed the speaker. Now, I haven't watched either of those reviews, I simply don't have the time. Uh, or the luxury to go and do that between my regular day job and time to review speakers and do things for my own channel. I would be curious to know what they thought of the So if anybody after watching Daddy. mine wants to chime in and say, yeah, you got a line or, or you didn't, I'd be curious to know. Give me a brief synopsis of what they have to say. So I just ordered it myself and I'll sell them on Patreon for a good deal. But that's where the speakers came from this time. I'm just wanting you all to know. In terms of looks, these speakers pretty much look the same. The main difference that you'll notice is the waveguide from the form is extended further to be flush with the back, whereas in the version one, it doesn't quite extend all the way out to the edge of the baffle. And that's gonna help more with the version two because it's gonna help with the fracture. So it's a smooth edge all the way out to the very end. Whereas this one doesn't go smooth all the way out to the end. It goes smooth until about a quarter of an inch. Maybe a half inch or so, I better close and then the drop the stop, so it goes flat to the back. The other major difference is the back of the speaker. The back of the V2 looks a lot more professional than the V1. The V1, honestly, is kind of cheesy compared to the V2, which the V1 on its own is kind of
Yes. characteristic trade-off between these two is, is really quite small and I would still take the advantage of this